Hello everyone. So in our activity about the simple electric circuit, a simple electric circuit is required and just we have to first check whether it is working properly. If you are interested, you can connect it with another nail here and one more wire can be connected to both ends and here we can again use a switch with the help of a safety pin a switch can be connected so that is another activity but in table 2 on page number 18 you have a list of objects 13 objects are mentioned these all objects should be kept ready in this way and then first of all you have to know what is the meaning of a conductor and what is the meaning of an insulator conductor means any object which allows the flow of electric current and if it doesn't allow then it is insulator so here you have to write hairpin for example with what material it is made iron or uh, is it steel whatever material is it that you have to write then does the bulb glow or not yes or no if it is glowing write yes if it is not glowing write no in the same way all these 13 objects with what material they are made and whether the bulb is glowing or not that table 2 you have to complete that is on page number 118 okay so here our simple electric circuit is perfectly well it is ready and now we are checking whether all the 13 objects are present or not first one is hairpin second one that is the lead pencil lead if pencil lead is not available even a pencil by sharpening on both the ends you can use that lead then an eraser a plastic scale a math stick a divider from your geometry box a piece of paper iron nail bangles just a piece of bangle or entire bangle also you can use any metal bangles and one glass bangle is also required then the paper clips paper clips are of two types some are made up of metal and some of them are made up of plastic so if you are writing if you are using metal clip you write in bracket made up of metal then as you know a chalk piece is made up of calcium carbonate then a safety pin which is made up of stainless steel some of them may also be mixed up with iron so keep all these things ready and as you are checking by connecting it to the circuit if the bulb is glowing then you have to write it as conductor and if it is not glowing then you have to write it as insulator so separately we will keep the insulators and in this line we will keep the um, conductors okay so let us start this activity in a serial wise order as it is mentioned in the table 2 so let us start with the first object so this is the first object that is the hairpin the hairpin when it is properly connected it is not glowing so it is not conducting the electricity so when it is not conducting the electricity, a substance which do not allow electric current to flow through them are known as insulator. So this hairpin is an example for insulator. Actually it is made up of a metal but it has a coating of paint. This coating of paint is not allowing the electricity to flow. It is insulating. So even all the plastic items, for example this is a plastic clip. This one also it doesn't allow the flow of electricity. So plastic, rubber, even the paint coating on this hairpin. These all are the examples for insulators. So insulators I will keep it in this line and in this line we will keep all the conductors. Okay children. So here is the first insulator. So for first one for hairpin you write metal coated with paint and write does the bulb glow or not there you write no okay if at all you try to remove the end part paint on both the sides and then if you try to connect it you may get the different result 
that is the metal metal will allow the flow of electric current it is an example metal is actually an example for conductor but right now as this pin is not allowing the flow of electric current we have categorized it as a insulator second one is a pencil lead lead pencils which you have from that you can take one lead or even you can take a normal pencil and sharpen it on both the sides and then you can use it so here can you see children it is allowing the flow of electric current and the bulb is glowing so this one is an example for pencil lead it is made up of graphite and it allows the bulb to glow so it is an example for conductor so here i am keeping the conductors here are all the insulators and just beside that i am keeping the conductor okay then third one is an eraser when i am connecting the eraser in this way definitely it will not glow bulb will not glow so eraser it is made up of rubber and the bulb will not glow does the bulb glow right there no so rubber rubber gloves will be worn by the electricians or whenever anyone is doing any work with electricity they have to wear the slippers which are made up of rubber so rubber comes under the category of insulator even in a normal electric circuit the wires which we use this wire its coating is also made up of an insulator that is nothing but the rubber or plastic okay so this eraser is an example for insulator so insulator i am keeping on one side then fourth one plastic scale when we connect the plastic scale and observe the bulb is not glowing so this is also an insulator then fifth one is a match stick stick or wood is also an example for this is an example for insulator if we want you can break the front part and then connect it properly the wood or match stick doesn't allow the flow of electricity so it is an example for insulator when anybody gets an electric shock or if any electric wire has touched any person people will usually take a stick a long stick a bamboo stick or any stick and they will try to remove the wire which has been connected to that particular victim the person if they separate the wire then only they can move the person otherwise from one person's body the electricity may pass to another person also so would the bulb does not glow right no then divider from the geometry box this is the divider you have to slightly open it and connect it in a proper way so here clearly you can see that the electricity is flowing through the divider because it is made up of a metal a steel or iron whatever may be the metal this divider is made up of metal which is allowing the flow of electricity so the bulb glows yes the bulb glows so geometry box divider it is an example for conductor then seventh one is a piece of paper just a small piece of paper you can take and just try to connect it the bulb will not glow so paper is made up of paper only and but it will be drawn from bamboo stick or some of the plants so this paper doesn't allow the flow of electricity so the bulb will not glow so paper is an example for insulator next is iron nail eighth one iron nail so as you all know iron nail will definitely conduct the electricity so here we will check it okay 
Okay, this is an iron screw which is allowing the flow of electricity. So this is an example for conductor. But this type of nail is not at all allowing the flow of electricity. Some sparks are visible. Okay, here you can see. So as it is slightly rusted, it is not showing proper result. So any metal is called as a conductor. Even the wire which is present inside this wire, this is made up of copper. Copper is also a metal. All metals will mostly allow the flow of electricity. Then ninth one is a piece of metal bangle. This is a metal bangle. Any metal, gold also, silver, gold, iron, steel, any metal will allow the flow of electricity. Sometimes a thick coating of paint will be there that will not allow. Otherwise it will usually allow it. Okay. We'll check it on the other side. Yes. Here you can see this metal bangle is allowing the flow of electricity. That is this metal bangle is an example for conductor. Then glass bangle. This glass bangle doesn't allow the flow of electricity. It is an example for insulator. Then after that, a paper clip. If we are using a metal paper clip, then this will also on some sides, it will allow the flow of electricity. If you are connecting it in this way, let us see what will happen. Yes, on both the sides it is alone. Every part is made up of metal. So this paper clip which is made up of metal is allowing the flow of electricity. So it is an example for conductor. If you are using a plastic paper clip, then that will not allow the flow of electricity. A plastic paper clip, if you are writing in bracket made up of plastic paper clip made up of plastic, then you have to write it as insulator. If it is metal, you have to write it as conductor. Then a piece of chalk, a chalk piece. It is made up of calcium carbonate and it doesn't allow the flow of electricity. So a chalk piece is an insulator. And then a safety pin. Safety pin, you all know it very well. It will allow the flow of electricity as it is made up of stainless steel or any metal it allows the flow of electricity so safety pin is an example for conductor okay children so here finally we have a list in which what all come under the category of conductors Iron, um, this is the lead which is made up of graphite, metal divider, iron nails, bangles which are made up of metal, then a paper clip which is made up of metal and a safety pin which is made up of stainless steel. These all are the examples for conductors whereas a hair pin made up of plastic or coated with paint is a insulator and eraser, plastic scale wood, paper, glass, plastic, chalk piece. These all are the examples of insulators. So categorize it separately and fill up that tabular form. Okay children. Thank you.